making light fixtures out of things that are not light fixtures. So using glass in particular, starting with this gorgeous piece we have hanging right here in the studio. Right, so this is kind of installation light fixtures. So what we've done is we've gone to a glass blower and uh -huh. had him blow balls. We've put them on a cable, a stainless steel cable, yeah. and we've developed this system where these little uh, clips get Allen keyed in and we can gang oh. them and then they're hung from the ceiling. Very so nice. this is where, let's say you have a pot light that you just, over your dining room table, you don't actually have the ability to hang a fixture. Mm -hmm. You could put these on a board all the way around it and dangle them down. Well, we have examples of that, you know, where right. you've used them in spaces. And what's beautiful about that is when you use it in multiples. So let's take a look at some of these pictures. This is in what looks to be, uh, it might be a dining room. Is that an eating is area? A this is a country house. And actually what we did is we wanted to delineate the space between the living room and the dining room. Mm. So we hung them all as an installation in between the two rooms yeah. and then didn't put chandeliers over the dining room table or oh. like, so they, they became just an art installation. That is so nice. And, and that's the light the light shines up. through them. So there's pot lights above them. Yeah. And they it just kind of seem to dance like little bubbles. Lovely. Okay, and we have another shot of that as well. The thing that's so beautiful about them is that they're they're clear, so it's it's a lot, but it doesn't feel like a lot because but, they're they're you know they're clear. Yes, yeah, so they right just kind them. of like float through the space. So then we took that same concept, did a stainless mm. steel plate, put little lights in it, and this is a little more whimsical. We've gone to color, color. and different shapes. Yeah, very nice. So this one's in a dining room. This was in a really traditional house and the dining room was so dark and yeah. so they needed something kind of colorful to brighten it up and the colored glass really did that. And different configurations. Is it difficult to figure out how to, like, how do you hang them all? You get one plate and hang them through that. Right, so that's the great thing. It's then you can customize. The plate can be six feet long. So yeah. if your box in the ceiling is off centered to your dining room table, you create the plate so that you center the plate and then you can hang the balls and it actually yeah. centers the fixture over. Very nice. So you used some glass fixtures in a huge project that you were involved in in Vancouver. Tell us a little bit about that. Right, so this is where it really becomes creative because you get to work with the artist. Yeah. So, you know, we've had the artist blow balls and then wrap them in glass. We've had colored balls made. These ones have silver on top of them. Um, Beautiful. It, that. This one is actually a take on an old Murano fixture. Very so nice. they've actually blown this tubular triangular glass and then we bore a hole through the center of it. Once again, yeah. the wire will go through. And we yeah. actually coupled this one with the fixture with these so that you got a combination of the very linear and the balls. Okay, so you, ha like you, you have to figure out what you're looking for and put them all together. It's nice that you can get everything done custom. What was the restaurant? The restaurant was in the um, Van Rogers Arena in Vancouver. Yeah. It's called Loge. And so actually with this, we, I really wanted a hockey theme. It's, it's the way they play. Yeah. And um, so for the Canucks, we did these great cast hockey sticks. Yeah. So they hang over top of a bar, cool. all at different levels. And then actually one of the guys on, this is where you really collaborate. We were in a meeting and we were talking about the light fixtures. And one of the guys at the table said, what about hockey pucks? And so I then had the artist make a cast of an actual hockey puck. Yeah. And then he created these glass pieces on the bottom of them. And so some of them are black, some mm -hmm. of them can be colored, they're clear ones. And once again, they just float at different levels beneath pot lights and they create this fabulous effect. And you make sure they're very secure and they will never fall on your head. <laughs> that's where the wire and the clip comes in and yeah, you Alan key them. that's very important if you're going to a restaurant to have a good meal. Okay, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see actually how beautiful this space is a little bit later in the show, right? You did great job there.